Okay, so the final part of the sets topic for first year that we want to have a quick look at is how to uh, complete problem solving tasks involving sets. Um, we're going to use our Venn diagram to help us answer this question. So we're told that there's 50 people that have completed a survey about their favourite subject, 30 people have said that they like maths, 15 people have said that they like geography, and 5 people have said that they like both maths and geography. So the first thing that we're asked to do is to fill in our Venn diagram. There is a very, uh, I suppose, structured way to answer these questions. And once you follow these steps, you should be able to answer them 100% correct each time. So um, my first piece of advice would be to draw our Venn diagrams and our universal set, by making sure that we're labelling everything as we're going along. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, yeah, I know my universe is equals to 50 people. And this first circle I'm going to say is my math circle, so I'll label that with M. And in brackets, I'm going to put in 30, and I'll explain why in a second. And we're told that 15 people like geography, so I'm going to do G, and in brackets, I'm going to do 15. Okay, so the reason why I haven't filled that directly into my Venn diagram is because the number 5, which is that 5 people like maths and geography, needs to be represented first. So if we think back to our um, definitions of what an intersection is, it's the elements that are in common between the two sets. So those five people are in common between the maths set and the geography set. So that's the first thing that you're always going to fill in to your Venn diagram is what they have in common. So the number five is going to go straight in here. Now, because the entire math circle should represent 30 people. I'm not allowed to just fill 30 into the other part of my Venn diagram, which is what a lot of students are going to do. We need to think that that entire circle should add up to 30, but there's already five people inside that circle. So therefore, we are going to do 30 minus five, and that's gonna give me 25 people who just like maths and who do not like geography as well. On to the other side then, we want to think again, our geography circle should add up to 15 in total. So I need to take away those five people who said that they liked geography and maths. So 15 minus five is going to give me 10. A lot of students stop at this point, but we need to think, okay, we've got 25 people who just like maths, five people who like maths and geography, and 10 people who like geography alone. If we add those together, we're going to see that that adds up to be 40 students in total. But there was 50 people who took part in this survey. So therefore, what we need to do is to get how many people like neither subject. We need to do 50 minus 40, which gives me 10. And that goes into our universe. So we can answer the second part of this question straight from our Venn diagram. Um, it's asking how many people liked in either subject. So we've just literally just filled that in to the outside of our um, universal set. So the answer is 10. Okay, so if you want to have a quick go at this question, we're asked uh, to complete a Venn diagram where 35 people are asked their favourite football team. 28 said they like Liverpool. Excellent choice. Five said they liked Liverpool and Chelsea and three said they support neither team. So have a go at it, pause the video, and then you can play it to look at the answer. Okay, so uh, let's see how we got on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to draw my universal set. I'm gonna write down 35 people took part. I need a Liverpool circle, and I need a Chelsea circle. So I know that 28 people said they like Liverpool. And at this point, I actually don't know how many people liked Chelsea uh, in total, so I'm just going to leave that as C. We're told that five people said they liked Chelsea and Liverpool. So as we did in our last one, that should go straight into the middle of our circle. And we're also told that three support neither team. So again, we should hopefully know that the three goes on the outside. Now there's one other section that I can fill in now, and it's my Liverpool circle. So I know that 28 people in total told the uh, survey that they liked Liverpool, but five of those people actually said they liked Chelsea as well. So just like we did before, we need to make sure that we don't fill 28 in straight away. We need to do 28 minus the five, and therefore there was 23 people who liked Liverpool only. 
So I need to fill in this section. This is my missing section. So we're going to add up everyone who has answered my survey so far. That's going to be 23 plus 5 plus the 3. And that's going to give me 31 people. So, so far we've got 31 people represented in this Venn diagram. But we know that 35 people actually answered. So 35 minus 31 gives me 4 people left over. So therefore the answer must be that 4 people like Chelsea only. If you want to double check you can obviously add all those numbers together. And they should answer, uh, give you the answer of 35. And again... Part two can be easily answered from our Venn diagram. It said, how many people like only Chelsea? The answer is four. If you thought the answer was nine, that is everyone who likes Chelsea, but who also might like Liverpool. Whereas the four represents people who only said they liked Chelsea.